Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour, and this show me video is about making a photo book from Google Photos. First, let me show you what one looks like. I've gotten several, and I love them. I get the soft cover copy, and it this is the only size, no choice in the size of the book. But I need to tell you how smooth it feels, and I think the quality is just great. I want to show you that you can add simple captions and you can make photos be full page size in addition to a couple other layouts. So how do you do it? Okay, first you need to select the photos that you want in your book. There's three ways to do that. You can let the print store do it for you. You just click the little button for print store and there are books already made for you. You can look at them and decide if you like them. You can also just manually select photos from your library and then tap on print store and order a book. You must complete that process all at once. I think the best way is to make an album first. Then you can keep fiddling with the pictures in the album before you decide to make a book out of it. So let me show you how. You can do this on mobile devices or on the computer. I want to show you on the computer. So I'm just going to my Google Photos on a Windows computer. I want to make a book of pictures of my mom. Now I have a hundred thousand pictures in my library. <laughs> if I had to go through and find all the pictures of her, I would be dead. <laughs> but luckily, Google Photos has already done that for me. If you click on Albums and People and Pets, I will see Mom. Now I gave it the name of Mom and here are all the pictures of mom that I have in my library. I probably have a few thousand pictures just of her so I want to choose the ones that I'm going to use and here is me as a as a baby with her. These early ones I definitely want. Now this is going to take me a while. <laughs> you select the pictures and you click the plus and you create an album. Rather than waste your time here, I've already done that. I've made an album called Mom for Book, so I can just search for that. And here are all the pictures that I have selected that I want to be in this book. I could go through and do some editing now if I wanted to, but when I'm ready, I just click the three dot menu and create photo book. Now on a mobile device this is going to say order prints and then create photo book. And that's it. You're done. <laughs> if you like what you see here you can just go on to check out but there are several things that you can customize. Number one, I want a different picture in on the cover so I just click here on the cover and I click replace and it takes me back to the album and I want that picture on the cover. Love that picture of her. Now this red exclamation point means that this is a low quality photo. Well, yeah, it is an old photo. It's probably cropped su sufficiently from the original but I have found that the quality is good enough. I know it's an old photo. I don't expect it to look like the current ones and most all of these are old photos. I can add a caption. So this is me as a baby. I can click here, click add caption and check mark. Now if you are using an Android device for this and you have a description on the picture, it will autofill when you click on caption. That's a really nice feature, but it's Android only. I can also change the layout of a picture. So let's say that this one I would like to be full page. It's these options over here. You click that and now that picture is taking up the full page. If I don't like the way it, it cropped the picture, you click on the quick picture, click crop, and now you can move it around to get a different part of the picture in the frame. 
you can also in here make it you know enlarge so zoom in and then crop and check mark I can change the layout of this page to be a collage it's going to take me back out to my library to the point where that picture was and ask you to select the pictures for the collage so I have selected three pictures here and I click done add duplicate photos sure I will delete so now I have this one page with a collage of three pictures and I will get rid of this individual page over here that has the duplicate by clicking on the X so those are the ways that you can customize you can also drag things into different order just by clicking hold and drag and when you're done you click checkout and I'm going to order a soft cover book for $25 and check out and you know the rest this is just like every other shopping cart